Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. Today we're gonna check out the DJI Neo Motion Fly More Combo. This is probably the cheapest way to start digital FPV at this time. A couple of years back with 500 bucks you didn't even buy the goggles. Now you can buy the whole kit. It's such a good time to start FPV. But is this kit worth it or should you look elsewhere? That's what we're gonna discover today. Let's open the box and see what's inside. First of all, you got the drone itself, super small, DJI Neo, and actually I've already reviewed this very extensively, so I'm gonna link the video in the description, go watch that. Then we have this box, which includes the deal and the motion controller, two extra batteries and multiple charger, two extra propellers, a Phillips screwdriver, paperwork, instructions, and a USB-C to C cable. And on the bottom, this is the reason why I got this kit, is the new DJI goggles N3. Look how big they are. And these goggles are the only new bit of kit inside this combo. And they are the reason why this whole package is so inexpensive. Finally, DJI managed to make an entry-level set of goggles. They are around 130, 260 bucks, depending where you live. And that means they are more than half the price of the DJI Goggle 3. And that's just crazy because you are not missing much from these goggles. Let's fly so you can see what the experience is like. Let's fly like the drone comes from the box. I turned off the live view stabilization because it crops in too much and it's very bad to fly like that. If you try, you're gonna see for yourself. So let's fly, press two times the red button and then boom, go up. And with this, Motion controller flying is super easy. You just press the trigger and move the controller where you want to go. And it's the most intuitive way to fly. It's not the real way to fly FPV. You, you will not find any other drone apart from the Avatas that fly like this. So, yeah. Now, excuse me, I am not used to this kind of, uh, of controller. But what I can say is the image transmission looks very nice. Like, if I got this kit when I started, I, will be, I would have been uh, really happy with this. And the Neo is the perfect drone, I believe, to start FPV with. You can record acceptable footage, it's not the best really, but the signal is amazing, as you can see. And really, you can go around... Come on, no, no, go, go. Man, what the hell is it doing? And really, you can go around, explore. I don't know why it's slowing down. Let's put it in sport mode. Boom, so it goes a little bit faster. And yeah, it's such a good experience for a beginner picking up this drone for the first time. You're gonna be able to fly around with a small drone inoffensive and really have a ton of fun. And it goes kind of fast as well. You get around 12 minutes of uh, battery life, 13, 14, depending how, how fast you go. But this O4 transmission system is really, really, really good. We are now using the internal stabilization of the drone, which, uh, is, uh, which is fine enough. I feel like this way of controlling the drone is not the most precise, at least for me that I am used to the real way of uh, controlling drones, which is the regular controller. This feels a little bit hit and miss. You cannot really orbit. And the drone, drone seems to drift and to interpret the commands a little bit. You don't feel super connected to it, even if it's intuitive. When you fly in proximity, yeah, you, you, you have to sway a lot to go around obstacles. As <laughs> I didn't crash on purpose. And now we have head tracking activated. Where you look with the goggles, the drone will turn and follow, which is super cool. It looks like you are piloting for real. You see, while you go forward, you can look down. It's a little bit uh, discombulating because you have to look at the circle in order to understand where you're going and the crosshair is where you're looking. After a while, yeah, oh my God. Yeah, you need some practice to do this, but it's total, total fun. 
And lastly, when you use this motion controller, you can activate the easy acro mode, which allows you to do more difficult maneuver with ease. This is the slide, which is basically like normal. Make sure there is nothing behind the objects you are tracking and boom! It can create some very cool shots, but just be careful with this. And lastly, we have the flip, which, as it says, it will allow the drone to flip on the spot. So it interrupts your fly and it just does a flip and then it starts back again. It's a very underpowered drone, so it's not gonna flip amazingly. In order to do flips, you have to be above 35% of battery. And I feel like this is a very fun, intuitive and futuristic way of controlling this drone. People getting this kit will have for sure a blast with it, but I feel like it's a little bit more of a toy than a real FPV trainer. If you want to learn the real way of flying FPV, I suggest you getting a DJI FPV controller 3. With this one, you can start out very easily because the drone hovers on itself, push forward, it goes forward slowly, then unlock sport mode, it goes a little bit faster, is as easy in my opinion as learning the DJI motion controller. And when you're ready, you can hook it up to the simulator on your computer, practice there, you can put it in manual mode and fly like the real FPV drone fly. You can do the flips yourself, orbits yourself, and it just has a much higher ceiling of skill development. And the skill you learn here will transfer to all of the other drones out there because they use the same scheme of commands. And it's not limited, just like the motion controller, to this and the Avata 2. So I feel like this is the right way to start. And flying with this controller is super easy, the drone hovers on itself and you can just use this stick to regulate where it goes and this other stick to rotate, go up or go down. It's super easy, the drone waits for you and it gives you the time to really get a feeling of what you are doing. And in the meanwhile it gives you a much more precise control over the motion controller. You just need to learn how to mix the sticks. But I feel like this is much more precise way. It also, let's say, drifts much faster, so you can orbit subjects, like you see right now, and you can do much more precise movement. It will take, maybe to start flying good, one hour more than the motion controller, but then you will fly so much more precisely you're not gonna even wanna try the motion controller anymore. Even if it's fun, I, I like trying it here and then, but the real way of flying is this. So this is the normal mod, is the way you fly drones like Mavics and all the regular drones that DJI makes, which is super, super intuitive and easy. Then you can put it in sport mode when you're ready, the drone will go faster, just like with the motion controller same top speed but you get much more lateral speed so you are able to circle stuff like this you can also use the wheel on the back to tilt the camera and get very robotic and cool moves the, the video at the end is gonna look smoother we are flying in four thirds 4k 30 this time because i feel like it's the uh, it's the best way to record with this drone. Shame it doesn't do 4K60 because it would have been perfect like that, but we're gonna stabilize with a software called Gyroflow. It's free and it stabilizes perfectly. So yeah, I love that. When you're ready to fly in manual mode after the simulator, you need to open the radio and unlock the throttle so it can move up and down freely. This way you can manage it. So put it in manual mode, center the sticks, and now we are flying just like a real FPV drone does. This way you have the most amount of control out of your drone. It can go much faster, you can tilt it up. So the DJI Neo is not the best FPV drone ever, like it doesn't fly amazingly, but you are seeing we are flying much faster. If I wanna flip, I can flip, I don't know how it's gonna take it, but Boom. Yeah. The Avata 2 is a much better drone for flipping like this. But the Neo will teach you the basics and that's already something I would say. Oh my God. 
Yeah, maybe remove the propeller guards when you fly acro because they are limiting the amount of air coming into the propellers. Okay, front back flips and front flips, I believe, are no problem. Yeah, a, a, rear, a real FPV drone will fly much better, remember this. But if you take it slowly, you know, 10 degrees, and you really learn how to how to fly, boom. You can make real FPV shots even with this drone. Boom. It doesn't fly incredibly precise, but it's enough to learn. So, is this kit worth it or not? In my opinion, it is. You get a ton of value for your money. First of all, you get the DJI Neo, which is one of the most versatile drones out there. Check out again my full review, link in the description if you're interested. I went really, really in depth. But basically, it's a selfie drone that you can take out of your pocket, press a button, flies automatically and records a video yourself. Or you can connect it to your phone and control it manually, just like a regular drone. And lastly, you can connect it to your goggles, to the motion controller and fly through narrow spaces and really get immersive shots. The only thing I don't like about this drone is the camera quality is mediocre at best and it doesn't have a SD card slot. Then you have the Google Sentry, which I feel like DJI made all of the right choices to keep the price down but keep the core functionality intact. To the point that I prefer the N3 over the more expensive Goggles 3. They are more comfortable, the screen is fine and of course they are less than half the price. So perfectly good starting point. I think these goggles will soon be compatible with the upcoming O4 system and if they do become compatible with the O3 old generation system, these are just the right goggles to get. And lastly, we have the Motion Controller 3, which is, in my opinion, the weak link of all of this combo. It's the most gimmicky and toyish way of flying this drone. For sure, it's fun, it's immersive, it's super cool to be flying like this. I'm not gonna lie, you're gonna have a blast with this. But you have to decide if you wanna play with this drone, then get this and you're gonna have an amazing experience. This is for the experience. But if you really wanna learn and experience FPV, this is the way to go, because it's the universal way we fly drones. The skill you learn here translate to anything else out there. This radio can be plugged to the simulator so you can practice. And also it will be compatible with all of the O3 or O4 third-party drones coming out in the market. Once you grow out of your DJI Neo, DJI Avata 2, you can buy whatever drone you like and your gear will be compatible. Instead, the motion controller is only available for a handful of selected DJI devices and it's very limited because you cannot go acro mode, you cannot go diving mountains and really have fun. This has a very hard skill ceiling and you're, you won't go past that. And I still feel like this is a great value for your money, but I feel like this would have been a much better value for your money because this would be the perfect FPV starting kit that once you grow out of the drone, you can keep using the gear to control everything else in the market and progress on your skill. And that's a great shame of DJI marketing because they try to plug this controller everywhere. They know people are not gonna buy this separately. So they include it in every combo and there is no combo featuring the DJI FPV controller 3. Instead, they sell this at a super high premium of 150 bucks for a Bluetooth controller that's worth to them to produce three bucks. They could sell this at half the price and still make a great, great profit, but instead they scalp on people and this is not very good. I feel like you should let people choose what they want to fly with at the moment of purchase. And the crazy part is that if you buy this kit and spend the extra 150 bucks, you end up saving money compared if you buy the goggles, the drone, the extra batteries and this without purchasing the 89 bucks motion controller. That's crazy. It's 100 bucks over if you buy everything separately. That's how bad they're trying to plug this controller. And I feel like this is a very bad wasted opportunity of making the best FPV starting kit for the money out there. And instead, it's just a good experience. And that's all for today. Remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Let me know what do you think about my opinions on this kit. And as always, if you want to buy something, check out the links in the description below. Clicking on them, you help my channel a lot. Stay safe and happy flying. Bye.